Hello to everyone watching this footage, it's Leviathan here again, and to start things off I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like how the late Stanley did for his. For this particular footage I'll introduce three new characters, and I'm sorry if it looks visually displeasing for this footage to be as so. I'm just improvising with whatever stuff is available and I hope you guys understand that. So I'm sorry. For this particular character, I hope you guys would be able to um keep up, if you know what I mean. Just bear with me. Wacko. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 4 feet 7 inches. Weight, 27 pounds. Status, villain, and lover of marionette. Base, Alpha Earth Mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, moody yet charming. He enjoys the suffering he creates and has an unbreakable love for the evil marionette. Lethality, only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, his love for marionette. Powers. He can alter or throw his voice, is an expert war strategist, and is a good guesser. He also has a built-in flamethrower on his left arm. Eyes blackish blue, hair deep black and sleek. Origin. One time, Marionette figured that she should have access to the perfect lover for herself. After choosing a ventriloquist puppet, giving him a flamethrower and bringing him to life, she named him Wacko and marked him as her sacred husband. After the homebound wedding ceremony, Marionette and Wacko did their honeymoon by trying to destroy the nocturnal night drainer. Luckily, right before they killed her, the heroic quantum arrived and nearly fried Wacko with her nuclear beams. After a time of repairing the damage, Marionette and Wacko will do anything to get their revenge. Costume? He simply wears a black tuxedo. Teams solitary with Marionette and other villains. Original, display, original inspiration, um, Slappy. This particular one is something that I hope would be efficient for you guys. X. Real name, inapplicable. Height 75 feet, weight 65 tons. Status, anti-hero and rival of Terrence. Base, Prehistora, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, willful, protective, and moody. He never cares about who he joins. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, being rivaled and spinal fractures. Powers. He possesses the same powers as Dino Axe, along with the power to speak English. He also wields an arsenal of ancient weapons. Eyes deep red, hair none. Origin. In the planet Prehistora, there was a Lovecraftian occurrence that created the prehistorian version of the notorious predator Dino X, known simply as X. After announcing his existence, he carelessly decided to join Spiker in a new attempt to kill the native warrior Terence. But as he was about to destroy him, Terence told X that it's never a wise option to team up with Spiker. After sparing Terence's life, X chose to team up with any individual or group and would spend some of his quality time having good combat training with the bloodthirsty warrior Carno. Costume. He wears a set of prehistorian armor. Teams. Solitary or with others. Origin inspiration. Indominus Rex. Here's the last character that I'm going to introduce in this um, particular footage. Yak. Real name. Ferdinand Monroe. Height, 7 feet 7 inches, weight 345 pounds. Status, villain and sidekick of Herculea. Base, Alpha Earth Mobile. 
intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Willful, destructive, and masculine. He always enjoys helping his sister. Lethality. Only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses. Bladed weapons. He has no healing factor. Powers. He possesses immense strength, high durability, and great speed. He's also good at persuading others while in a situation. Eyes light green, hair light blonde, short, and spiky. Origin. Ferdinand Monroe was once a professional bodybuilder who learned that his older sister, the powerful Herculea, was trying to defeat the muscle-bound Invincible. Considering this as a form of inspiration, Ferdinand dressed in a yak-style uniform and became her sidekick in crime, known simply as a yak. Eventually, when he was wrestling with Invincible and almost got his one chance, she finally defeated him with a neutering kick. Since then, Yak would be cautious when fighting someone with similar strength. Costume. He wears a yellow Yak-based uniform. Team Solitary with Herculea and other villains. Orders of Exploration, Bodybuilders. Well, I hope you guys appreciated um, these three characters. I don't want to be a waste of your guys' time or anything, and I'm trying to put things in proper symmetry, you know? I hope you appreciate my podcast and my interconnected blog and such. I hope you guys have a fine um, St. Patrick's Day and supposed April Fool's Day once it comes into play and such. I uh, hope that this setting would be more appealing than it usually is. I don't want to seem like an issue. I just want some level of satisfaction. And at the same time, I'm trying my best to improvise so I apologize until that more accurate point if you know what I mean I hope you guys have a fine time and um again this is Leviathan and hope you guys have a fine time with your uh, stuff and such and until next time in transmission